Hey guys, what's up? It's Yana. Welcome to day 17 of Camp Nanorimo July 2021. Remember when I said in previous videos that it was hot? Yeah, I was wrong. Now it's hot. Now it's actually hot. It's like do not go outside levels of hot. So, excuse me in my bikini, but uh, this is just how it's gonna be. And by the way, I have a fan on the ceiling and I feel like I need this additional fan right now. Even the cat needs the fan. She's wondering what the heck I'm doing. Lexi! <laughs> the other cats are practically liquid in the other room where there's air conditioning but uh, I only have the ceiling fan. So, right, um, I am going to sit down and get to work in spite of the heat because I want to get quite a lot done today since I don't have any lessons I had a good uh, good night's sleep so it's all good I'm feeling happy I'm feeling motivated I'm feeling super hot <laughs> but um, yeah we'll, we'll just we'll just um, we'll power through the heat and get some work done and I, I kind of have a time limit as well because I'm going to a uh, party tonight it's my uh, Latin dance school's 15 year anniversary so they're having a big party uh, I'll be there at around half past nine in the evening and it is at the moment almost half past five so that's not that long to I'm losing my words it's too hot it's not that many hours to get work done so I need to start now and I need to stop talking to you without a script because I'm saying nonsense oh my god I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get to work okay I'm getting to work now bye I am not usually too terrible with names, but for some reason, in this book, there are so many characters that I just can't name properly. So for example, there's this guy that works for like child services, and I didn't ha have a name for him, and I've just named him Mr. Stork. Like, <laughs> that's terrible, that will probably have to change. And then even my main characters, apart from like one of them, where I'm sure I'm gonna keep her name, the rest of them, I, I'm not even sure they're gonna be called that. Or, or I guess there's two characters that I, I'm sure what they're called. But everybody else's name is just... Like, for example, I have a main character named Peter, and he's really insisting on being called Peter. But Peter is just such a common name in literature. We've got... Peter Pan and like a bunch of other Peters. I I really wanted to change it, but then he does want to be called Peter, so I don't know. And now you're probably just reading my whole unedited page, so I should probably pause this little clip here. <laughs> so here's a question for you. Chapter lengths. Do you like longer chapters or shorter chapters? Or does it depend on the book? Does it depend on other things? How do you usually do it? I personally, when I'm reading and when I'm writing, I rather prefer shorter chapters because when I'm reading, I just find it easier. I mean, it's obvious what the reason is. I just find it easier to know that like there is an end inside and then once I finish a chapter, I can easily say, oh, I'm gonna do one more because they're, they're not too long. And when I'm writing, because I tend to underwrite, if I know that I'm trying to hit something like 4,000, 5,000 words per chapter, then that's really discouraging because I find that too difficult to do. Whereas if I'm writing short chapters, I think my chapters tend to be when they are edited and finished and not when I'm like first drafting them and I'm at, I need to add things later. When they're finished they tend to be 
somewhere between 1500 and 2000 words maybe sometimes a little bit above 2000 but i very rarely hit something like 3000 words they're fairly short and i think that works really well for middle grades just because you know children's attention spans even though i i remember reading some books with pretty long chapters when I was that age but I still think it's easier but even when it's adult books even in my stuff that's meant uh, for like older teenagers young adults new adults and even like older for adults even there I think I rather prefer to write and read in smaller chunks so what do you think so for example this one that I've just uh, been working on at the moment it's 922 words and that it's just way too small like it needs to be longer and reading it I feel that it needs to be longer if it's going to be a separate chapter but the problem is it it wasn't a separate chapter before it was part of another chapter but then it felt like there should be a break there so now I'm not quite sure what to do because there isn't there isn't too much that I can add to the events that are happening here um, but then I don't normally like change points of view within a chapter in this book I used to do it in other books I think I said that in a previous video so I'm not sure what to do with this chunk of writing like should this just be a very short chapter or what should I do with this I don't know Okay, I went and looked at the previous chapter and I remembered why I split that bit off and I've never really like seriously thought about how I tend to split my chapters. I just kind of do it on instinct but now that I'm trying to analyze why I felt like I needed to do that, I think it has to do with what important events are happening where and I usually feel like one very important if it's a very big plot point it should have its own chapter and that's why I split those two because otherwise they were in the same place it was like two kind of un not completely related but very important plot points and it just didn't feel like they should be cramped together in the same chapter so again how do you tend to do it I, I'm gonna leave it like this I'm gonna leave it as a separate chapter because it just it doesn't feel right for those two things to be together even though it, it basically continues the same kind of event there's no time jump but I'll figure it out I'll figure it out but it needs to be its own chapter so how do you usually do this? How do you decide where to end the chapter? Is it based on events? Is it based on like time or scene change or like point of view change? Or do you just not use chapters at all? I've done that as well. Um, the way that uh, the Discworld novels, most of them, Terry Pratchett's Discworld novels work, where it's just like episodes, 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 and you don't necessarily have to split them into chapters. For a children's book, I, I feel like, even even for young adult, I think I think it's probably better to have chapters. Just to have this um, little. Here's where I stop reading. But um, yeah, how do you do it? Okay, I've just realized something. You know how a few days ago I talked about pulling an event that happened later a little bit earlier on so that now it has to happen early on so that everything aligns and there's no zigzagging between places and it's just more streamlined well that was a good decision but it did create a little bit of a problem because then certain things had to match somebody's birthday fell on a different date and then there were too many events happening at the same time and people it was difficult to put them in the right place but now that now that I have figured out how to do that I also realized that this means I can actually bring back an older version of one of the chapters which I really liked but I had to change it because a character who was in it um, in the later version couldn't be in it they weren't there 
but now the way that I've shifted things actually it turns out she can be there so I can go and find that older version which I like better a little bit better because I think it was creepier because now it contains a person who knows what's going on and just can't stop it because something scary is happening and in my latest version um, there were only two characters there and neither one of them had any idea what the heck was going on but now I can have my third character there who actually understands and that, that just makes it absolutely terrifying so I'm quite happy about that I'll see if I'll have to go and find that older version and see if I can literally just replace or whether I'll need to like do some tweaking if there's something in there that doesn't match the current version but I'm pretty happy about that oh oh so that's what happened okay um right so I couldn't remember what the explanation was for my character not doing something that it seemed really logical to do I could not for the world of me remember and I knew that I had an explanation for it I'm pretty sure I asked my question that before and I figured out what the reason was so I've just spent like five minutes digging through all of the documents related to this story of which there's like a hundred to find one that's called just the name of the story and then notes and like I was digging through that and I finally found the explanation and I was like I had completely forgotten about this because it's not like it's not mentioned in the actual book until later it's not explained until either the next book or maybe I'll add it at the end of this one but it's not something that like it is included but it's super important to have it as information because otherwise my character seems like a complete asshole for no good reason and I just I'd completely forgotten about that I I had absolutely no idea does this tend to happen to you when you have something figured out and then sometime later you're once again wait why why does this happen like that Right, but, but I'm happy I actually do have an explanation for that because that just, that, that is so much better. That is so much better. And actually that's giving me more ideas. Okay, let's get back to work because I don't have that much time left before I have to go out. Okay, that was enough work for today. Now I'm off to a dance party. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!